Hi, we are from Accomputation. In this video, we are going to see the difference between simple interest and compound interest and also we are going to deduce formula for the compound interest. The question is, explain the difference between simple interest and compound interest with an example. So, no solution. Let us look at the difference between simple interest and compound interest by considering rupees 100 as the principal amount at 10% rate of interest for 3 years. Okay, so we will make out the difference in table form. What we are considering, principal is 100 rupees and then rate of interest is 10% and number of years is 3 years. Okay, so now we have done in our previous videos the simple interest we have calculated using the formula. Okay, so now we will do it for year by year. So first year, so the principal will be rupees 100 and the rate of interest will be 10%. Okay, so now at the year end, your rupees will become with this 10%, it means rupees 10 for 100 rupees. So totally it will be rupees 110. Okay, so if you go with compound interest, then also the amount will be, principal will be 100 rupees and 10% interest. So the amount added, interest added will be 10 rupees. So the total amount will be 110 rupees at the end of the first year. So in simple interest also it's 110 rupees and in compound interest also it's 110 rupees. Okay, so this is at the end of first year that you have to note it down. Then next we will do for second year. Okay, so the starting of second year, okay, so the principal what you are investing is rupees 100 in simple interest, okay, so then again we are doing it for 10% interest rate, so for 100 rupees it will be 10% means 10 rupees, so the total amount will be 110, okay, so now again interest added is 10, so at the year, second year your amount will become rupees 110. 20. Only you are adding that interest 10 rupees to the total amount. Okay, so at the end of the first year you will have 110 rupees. The interest for second year will be 10 rupees. So if you add that 110 with 10, so you will get only 120 rupees amount at the end of your second year. But if you go for compound interest, here your principal will be 110 rupees. Okay, so here you are adding the interest also to the principal. Okay, then if you go with 10% for this 110 rupees, so you will get rupees 11. Now if you add this, so it will become 121 rupees. Okay, it will become 121 rupees at the end of second year. Okay, you are able to find out the difference between the two. Okay, so then for third year, so what do you do for simple interest? Again, the principal will be 100. For 100 rupees, if you take the principal rate, it will be 110. Okay, so now it is 120 in the previous year and you are adding the interest 10%, so you will get 10 rupees. So if you add 120 plus this interest 10, so your final amount will be rupees 130 at the end of your third year under simple interest. You understood? Okay, same if you go for compound interest, you are taking the principal to be rupees 121 at the starting year, the third year. And you are finding, yes, interest 10% for this 120 rupees. So, you will get 12 rupees in 10 pulse. So, if you add this, you will get 133 rupees and 10 pulse. So, if you in, invest under simple interest, then at the end of 3 years, you will get rupees 130. And at the end of 3 years, if it is interest invested in compound interest, then it will be rupees 133.10. So, in 3 years, the interest earned, if you are invested in simple interest, is rupees 30. And, and the interest earned, if it is invested in compound interest, is rupees 33.10. So, also the principal remains same under simple interest, while it changes year after year under the compound interest. So, these are all the main difference between simple interest and compound interest. Next question is, describe the steps to reduce, deducing a formula for compound interest. So, now there is a shorter way of finding compound interest. Now, let's try it first. Okay. So, now we will take P1 is the sum on which interest is compounded annually at the rate or percent per annum. Now, let's consider P1 be rupees 5000. 
okay and the number of year is 1 and the r is 5 percent so then by using simple interest formula so how you will calculate simple interest equal to p n r divided by 100 and the final amount will be principal plus simple interest so let's calculate year by year okay so for first year the simple interest be si1 and the principal will be p1 into r into n divided by 100 okay so now with this calculations we are moving to finding the formula okay so p1 r number of year is 1 divided by 100 okay so p1 amount how will you write this p1 that is principal plus simple interest one what we have calculated here okay so p1 plus simple interest is p1 into r 1 r into 1 will be again r so p1 into r divided by 100 so here p1 is common so we are taking p1 out okay and we are writing it as 1 plus r divided by 100 okay so this is the amount 1 at the end of the first year so that will become the principal for the second year that is p2 okay so this left side i have calculated the same for rupees 5000 okay so now we will go for second year okay in the second year simple interest 2 i have taken so now here the principal will be p2 okay r into number of year we are calculating only for second year so i am taking it as 1 divided by 100 okay so now what is p2 p1 into 1 plus r divided by 100 into r divided by 100 okay so now p1 okay if you r if you multiply it inside so it will be p1 r divided by 100 into 1 plus r by 100. So this is SI2, simple interest for second year. Now uh, the amount for second year will be A2 equal to P2 plus SI2. Okay, so what is P2? P1 into 1 plus R by 100 plus SI2 is P1 into R divided by 100 into 1 plus R divided by 100. So here, see if you see here, 1 plus R by 100. Here also 1 plus R by 100 common term. P1 is also a common term. So P1 into 1 plus R by 100 if you take out. So you will get 1 plus this R by 100. Okay. So P1, 1 plus R by 100 into 1 plus R by 100 will be 1 plus R by 100 whole square. So P1 into 1 plus R by 100 the whole square. This will become the principal amount for the starting of the third year. That is at the amount for the end of the second year. Okay. Total amount for the end of the second year. That is principal for the third year. So proceeding in this way, amount at the end of n years will be a n equal to okay p1 into 1 plus r by 100 to the whole power n. If it is second year, we are writing it as 2. So if it is for n year, so it will be r by 100 the whole power n. Okay. So this is the formula. So using this, we get only the formula for amount to be paid. So this is amount. Okay, so this is not compound interest. This is the amount to be paid at the end of n years. And we have to deduce compound interest formula from this. So compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. Okay, so this amount minus principal. Okay, so this is the easy way to find the compound interest. So what we have done, we have calculated simple interest for year by year. So now using this formula, we can directly calculate the compound interest and also the amount to be paid. Thank you for watching the video.